everyone, this is Stefan Fulkins at the NECA booth, and we're going to do a product walkthrough here at New York Toy Fair 2018. Uh, let's start on the far corner here. We've got Laura Moon from American Gods. Uh, she is a figure that will be coming up. We're showing the, uh, we're showing the two up here right now. She will be a six-inch figure coming later this year with interchangeable arms and feet. Uh, next to her, we've got the Predator line. Predator and Aliens are a huge seller for us, and uh, the fans love it. So we got the Predator Bone Throne coming out. Uh, it is a resin piece with plug-in plastic pieces for the alien queen fins at the back. Uh, and it'll fit all your Predator 7-inch figures. Um, so you can put Ultimate Ahab in there. You can put Clan Leader in there. You can put Elder in there. And they'll look really cool on your shelf uh, looking over all of his minions and Predator followers. So it uh, comes in a box like this. And like I said, it's a pure resin piece. So um, yeah, you can fit any Predator. That's Ultimate Ahab sitting in there now. Ultimate Ahab is coming this year. He comes with uh, his mask, his head, uh, all new articulation and uh, on the ultimate body. Uh, he comes with the spear and engineer skull and an engineer gun. So we decided to do him straight from the comic book. Uh, he's getting the ultimate treatment with fifth panel window. Um, series 18 of Predators is coming out soon. Uh, we've got Hornhead Predator, uh, Broken Tusk Predator, and we've got Machiko all from the Dark Horse comic book series, and uh, those are series 18 coming soon uh, in the regular Predator line. Something special we've got going on is the Predator Arcade series, which will be a separate series away from the main line of Predators, where we'll have them in a different window box packaging, specifically from the arcade AVP Capcom game in the 90s. Um, we've got Hunter Predator, Warrior Predator, um, and then we have a two-pack coming out later this year of Lynn and Dutch from the AVP Capcom game. Um, they are based on their video game appearance. We have them on display in a diorama scene uh, from the AVP game itself here. And uh, the Predators themselves come with a bunch of different weapons. A spear, a smart gun, pulse rifle, um, an extended spear, and a face hugger and chest burster. And those uh, accessories are all used in the game as they fought the aliens. And continuing on, we have the Aliens line. Uh, we've got a club-exclusive Kenner version of Alien. Back in the day, Kenner would do the packaging design and would uh, paint the alien on the card. And we decided to do a figure version of that paint job uh, based off the old Kenner card art. So that's a club-exclusive this year. Um, and we've got the next wave of Aliens, Series 13 which will be Apone with a no-bug shirt uh, based off the old Kenner version of Apone. Uh, and we've got the Scorpion Alien and Snake Alien from the Kenner waves back in the day. They're all new updated versions of those 90s figures. The Snake Alien will have a bendy wire tail and articulated pincers. It'll also have an opening mouth with jaw that comes out. The Scorpion Alien has all new spikes and stuff and will have the usual opening jaw, bendy tail, etc. So that's Series 13 for the Aliens. Apone's got a cool working uh, mechanical arm. Um, and going back to the Predators for a second, we have another Ultimate Predator coming out, the Ultimate Elder Golden Angel. At the end of Predator 2, the Elder gives Danny Glover a uh, pistol from the 1700s, and this Dark Horse comic explains the Golden Angel's, the Elder's backstory. And uh, he comes with three heads, multiple weapons, and we'll have fifth panel window box. Moving on, we have the IT license. The IT license is Pennywise from the 1990 film, the miniseries starring Tim Curry. Uh, and the other one is Pennywise from the 2017 movie, the new Bill Skarsgård Pennywise. So we have the Tim Curry one. He'll have four heads, a balloon bundle that he'll actually be able to hold in his hand, the noisemaker, and demon hands. So he's completely ultimated out ultimate and we have um, him in a window box packaging as well. This Pennywise will have multiple heads, hands, he'll have the boat and he'll have the one balloon that he can actually hold in his hands with a wire. So both of those get the ultimate treatment this year. Um, it's a big reveal for us at Toy Fair at this time. So, Underneath we have the diorama. This has been a pet project of my own um, the last year, year and a half uh, since I made the original prototype for Comic-Con. And uh, we're actually going to be making this diorama itself a retail item. Um, and it, as you can see, there are three levels. 
Uh, people can put their own collections on there. Uh, Ninja Turtles, they can put NECA items, they can put whatever they collect, Marvel, Marvel stuff, DC stuff. Um, we did a, a generic enough street scene that um, allows people to place and take toy photography on it. So three levels, it can hold like 25 figures easy. There's a magnetic backdrop that pops off. You can put figures inside. Uh, people will love this for their shelves, display items, and it will be a retail item. So people can finally put their collections to cool poses and stuff on something like that. Uh, it will be a put-together-yourself, snap-together uh, assembly piece. So it will be in sections uh, that you put together, and then it will build up to that. And you can, of course, take it apart or do whatever you want with it. But, yeah, you'll basically get the flat box, and you'll be able to assemble it that way. So, yeah, and it's a fully tooled plastic item. Uh, the only thing that's cardboard will be the, the backdrop behind it with magnets. So. so also this year we have a ultimate gremlin from 1984's Gremlins uh, this year. He will be fully decked out with accessories. Uh, he'll have a working jaw, movable jaw, open and closed. Um, and he will have uh, coins. He'll have a cup. He'll have popcorn. He'll have a beer. He'll have candy, uh, 3D glasses, and the little um, hat with the spinner. Peller hat. Propeller hat. That's what it's called. And, uh, yeah, so that's from the original film right there, getting the ultimate treatment. And th later this year, too, we have the possessed demon version of Ashy Slashy when he becomes all crazed. So he's got the pointed teeth. Our, uh, our Ashy Slashy last year did really well, and uh, we're bringing this demon version because he switches in the show to this demonic one with sharp teeth, the white eyes, and the teeth on the, on the saw blade as well. So... That's a second Ashy Slashy coming to you soon. Continuing on with the uh, Evil Dead line, we've got Evil Dead 2 Dead by Dawn Ultimate 2-pack of Ash and Evil Ed. They have multiple heads. Ash has three heads. It comes with the deer to hang on the wall. It comes with his shotgun, the Kandarian dagger, um, and Evil Ed, which is the first time that's ever been done in figural form. Um, with his crazy, creepy hands and uh, multiple heads. Uh, continuing on with the Ash vs. Evil Deadline, we have uh, Ash from the Asylum from Season 2. We have Demon Spawns, which come with three heads, so you can mix and match, or you can buy multiple Demon Spawns for that great, uh, for that great scene, and Henrietta with her two heads. The one head has the bendable neck, and the head can actually pop off like he sawed it off, and all Asylum Ash is there as well. So yeah, that series two is hitting right now. Uh, you'll have it within the next within the next month or so. Going up here to the Friday the Thirteenth. I know uh, people are very excited about this shelf. This is our pure Friday the Thirteenth shelf. Uh, right now, we have out is the Camp Crystal Lake uh, diorama set, which comes with the sign, the dock from Part Three, and the. Uh, the kind of rock thing that he's chained to in part six underwater. So we have that coming out now. People can get the boxes behind there too shown. We're coming out with quarter scale part four final chapter, Jason. Uh, he will have two heads, a machete, a kitchen knife. You can see the kitchen knife here. We'll have its blood on it. The knife, the machete can actually go in the side of his sliced head. He will have for the first time his sliced hand and a big ax. So he will get the full treatment and the ultimate scale. And he is an absolute badass. He has a removable mask. You can see his face underneath. And he is an absolute beast on the shelf. Uh, continuing on with Jason, we're coming out with uh, Ultimate Part 2, Friday the 13th Part 2, Jason. Our Part 3 and 4 and 6 Ultimates did so well. We're continuing Part 2. Um, and he comes with two heads, um, a fire, campfire. And a machete, a knife, a spear, uh, an axe, and, uh, yeah, a pitchfork. He's completely loaded out in the ultimate format. So Friday the 13th is getting a lot of love this year, and uh, the fans are really pumped about this stuff. Continuing on, we have the Guillermo del Toro signature collection. We're starting with Pan's Labyrinth from his beautiful films. Uh, one of my personal favorite films, Pan's Labyrinth. Uh, the first wave will be uh, Santi with deluxe nuclear bomb base from Devil's Backbone. And then we have Pan's Labyrinth coming out with the Fawn, which will have the pillar, and Ophelia, which will come with the pillar and base. Um, the Pale Man will come with his throne, which is shown in the movie before he wakes up. They are kind of a, a deluxer item than the regular store item. So they're, um, 
it's part of the signature collection. So they're pretty special. They come with bases. Uh, people are very excited about this new license. So, yeah, we've got more coming there. We've got the pillar shown here with the base in the center of the labyrinth. And the pillar here with Ophelia, she uh, puts the eye into that pillar uh, in the movie. So, And his throne, we, sh th we showed images online. Uh, we don't have the throne here. It's just, it's actually being sculpted right now. So we showed images of the pale man's throne online. And uh, look for these in store this year because it's going to be an amazing series with all the, the diorama aspects. Del Toro does so many visual, beautiful elements that we decided it's not enough just for the figures. We've got to have these cool things that to, for them to come with. We've got Team Fortress from Valve, Chell from, Va from Portal 2, and we've got Gordon Freeman coming back to the market. So uh, we've got the blue assortment continuing on and the red assortment continuing on. This will finish out the Team Fortress waves uh, for the whole team for people. So all that's hitting stores this year, and keeping with the video games, we've got Crash Bandicoot coming. Big new license for us, Crash Bandicoot. Um, the initial release will be just a single blistered figure with cardboard uh, crate behind him. It'll be a single blister figure out very soon. Uh, and his eyebrows move, so you can have all kinds of expressions. Uh, you can do all kinds of things with his eyebrows. They're on ball joints. Uh, fully articulated figure. Um, that's the standard release, and then we have a bunch of different other releases. We have a deluxe hoverboard version, which is coming out later in the year, with actual physical crate and the hoverboard. Then we've got a jetpack version coming out as well. So people are really excited about Crash Bandicoot, uh, jumping over all those crates. It's a perfect time. For our quarter scales this year, uh, we have Kratos released, and as well as a 7-inch version from the new God of War game coming out soon. Uh, he comes with axe and a giant shield that plugs into his left arm. Uh, and he comes with a little dagger as well. That's the quarter scale Kratos. We've got 7 inch Kratos with the same accessories. Expect more Kratos uh, later this year. And we have uh, Daredevil out now. Quarter scale Daredevil comes with two extra heads, multiple hands and accessories. We've got uh, Ultimate Deadpool coming out soon. He will be the quarter scale but with more accessories, a slightly bigger box. He'll have an unmasked head. He'll have a sliced brain head. He'll have um, blast effects for all the weapons that came before. He'll have a uh, burrito to eat. Cheese dripping down his face that you can snap on, snap off to his unmasked head. And he has a, uh, a stuffed unicorn for, help him, for him to help <laughs> sleep at night. So uh, that's all coming with Ultimate Kratos and more uh, with that set. We've got Wonder Woman uh, from the DCU uh, with shield and sword. She's a beautiful figure. And she has some real potential uh, on the shelf for display. And then we've got Captain America from Civil War uh, closing out the Marvel stuff there this year. So that's what's happening for quarter scales. And uh, expect more surprises. We're working on so many other things that we can't even show yet for this year. Uh, this is just kind of the first five, six months of this year. We're working on all kinds of surprises at the shop and uh, stuff that we can't show yet. But trust me, you'll be blown away when we can finally get that so uh yeah keep the focus on NECA toys NECA underscore toys on twitter or uh, follow NECA official on instagram NECA dials on instagram and um the official facebook page NECA facebook page so thanks everybody enjoy play with those toys